Tenny and Tokwe, the Wonder Twins, got a gift of a jigsaw puzzle from their father for performing excellently in their chemistry continuous assessment test. And they spent the afternoon curating different shapes by using different proportions of the puzzle. Now, like the jigsaw puzzle, the dimensional formula of physical quantities are curated by arranging the fundamental units of mass, length, and time in various proportions. It's the power to which they must be raised to represent the physical quantities and are called the dimensions of that physical quantity. And when we equate the dimensional formula to the physical quantity, it is called dimensional equation. Wow, isn't that interesting? For example, the dimensional formula for force is mlt raised to the power minus 2. Velocity equals distance times time, which is lt raised to the power minus 1. Acceleration equals velocity divided by time, which is lt raised to the power minus 2. Force, mass times acceleration, which is mlt raised to the power minus 2. Ends. The dimensions of force are 1 in mass, 1 in length, and raised to the power minus 2 in time. And the equation is written as force is equal to mlt raised to the power minus 2. So we have learned that dimensions of this physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental unit of the mass, length, and time must be raised to represent the physical quantity. Dimensional formula is a unit of physical quantity expressed in terms of m, l, and t. And the dimensional equation is obtained when we equate the dimensional formula with the physical quantity. I'll see you in the next class.